Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something pretty cool. We're going to be doing a real life test of the recalled Edwards 280 series detector, specifically the Edwards 281C. If you're not familiar with this recall, this was a massive recall by Edwards. They recalled all of the 280 series of mechanical heat detectors due to the potential failure to operate. Now this is a ton of heat detectors. If you go anywhere in Canada, you'll probably see one of these detectors, even though they're recalled, they're still everywhere. And I have seen them very commonly not activate, so this is a legitimate recall, there is a large percentage of them affected, but let's actually test it to find out if this is true. I have an Edwards heat detector that I took out of a school because it failed to activate, so we replaced it. Now let's see what it takes to actually activate it. Here is the setup. As you can see, Edwards 281C activates at 135 degrees Fahrenheit. I believe that's 57 degrees Celsius. Now the setup here is it's on, it's on its base, it's on a back box, and we have it connected up to an EST Genesis that will sound if the detector is activated. Show you this is real and this will work if it's actually activated. Now, when a detector goes into alarm, these terminals become closed. They're normally open, meaning they're not touching. Inside, electrically, they're not making contact. But just with this, sets it off. So this detector will set off the EST Genesis if it's set off. First, I'm going to pop the detector up can coil up our wires a little bit. There we go, our detector's in place. So my first way I'm gonna test it is I'm just gonna test the rate of rise like we always do by heating up the outside of it. And we'll see if that will set it off. Now this will usually go within about 10 seconds. Nothing. And that detector's hot. I can't touch that. Now we can try right on the disc. We can try and heat up some more. By now this detector should have gone off. Feel that? That's hot. That's too hot to the touch. That's way more than 57 degrees. I think we gotta step it up a bit. Before I light it on fire, I just want to say that you should be careful with fire. I have a fire extinguisher on hand and I do not recommend you do this. As you can see, it's on fire at this point. And by the way, I do have fire extinguishers on hand closely. Probably should have gone off, but I think we gotta step it up more. Let's take this outside. All right, let's continue outside. Pour some special liquid on top of it. Should be enough special liquid. There we go, that's better. There we go, that's better. Got a small fire on the ground. Well. 
wonder if it needs more special liquid. That's better. The liquid. That's better. The grip. Oh, are we still trying? That's toasty. It's trying again. I think our wires are melting together or becoming disconnected, just going back and forth. I wonder if it will still sound. Yup. All right, let's call it quits now because I don't think much more is happening to it. Yep. The disc still didn't pop off though. I don't see any more flames. Also understand this wasn't a very hot fire, uh, not very hot at all compared to a compared to what a structure fire would be. Just with this gas here and my limited amount I can safely put on it, I can't get it that hot. If I was if this was actually being a fire, I don't think there'd be much left. I think you would see you'd see some copper. You'd see uh, copper might even melt by that point. I think the only thing that might not melt would be the screws and the box the steel box might not melt. But I'm pretty sure there'd be no remnants of the detector. Maybe the base of it would still be there. Other than that, I don't think much would be there. 
So let's take a look at this. Dried it off a little bit more. This has melted itself because of the box. There we go. Yeah, yeah, this didn't, this wasn't a hot fire at all. The insulation is actually still, for the most part, intact, which really goes to show this wasn't super hot. Right here. Actually, maybe I'll leave it intact and I'll cut the fire alarm wire back here. This is a close up here is what's left of the detector. This plastic bit here isn't even that melted. That's a little crispy. Our wire's pretty melted up and our connectors, obviously, as you can see, pretty melted. Not sure how much more. Going any, he, heating it up anymore wouldn't make a difference. It was hot. As much happened as would have happened there, not much. I don't think there would have been much more that would have happened proceeding to heat it up other than the thing melting down. I think that was about it. Anyways, though, if you enjoyed this video or found it entertaining, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help me out a lot. If you're interested in seeing some of my other videos, go check those out. Have any comments or questions, leave those down in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.